Times were tough, so I sold my soul. And I don't think I'll ever regain control. Devil look me in the eye, and I look the other way. What else could I do? I just stood at the doorway and you. I'd rather be drunk with you. I'd rather be drunk. But hey, Internet, Draco Funk here, and I'm back with my still mostly reusable space program and also with me is shaggy b that's right hanging out at the studio as always yeah it's it's still a little bit upside down um i mean I, you know I'm, I'm growing to like it though yeah i'm eventually you know maybe we'll get another one rolled out there and you know squadron can come inside and join us but anyway uh, we are working on our reusable space program, and you've seen the title of this, Out of Gas. But at the time of filming, I, I don't quite know that yet, so we'll come back to that. But first, we need to launch a ship, and this is the Ares craft, and this will be the third one we launch, so I'm naming it Ares 3. I have forgotten how to launch them, so... <laughs> I'm going to like completely screw this up at the beginning. Like the launch Perfect. sequence is like staging. all wrong. Is the staging okay? The staging is okay if I remember how everything works, which I don't. Yeah, right. I've kind of figured it out. I've got the jet engine spooling up. I've got the SAS turned on and I I'm lifting. lighting. Yep, I lit the solid rocket boosters and. Yeah, that's it. It's launched. Good enough. Yeah. Yeah. So this this ship was supposed to go to Minmus. Going a little quick there. Uh, I, I sped up the footage because... You oh, know, no. I meant like the, you know... Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I was having some issues with my video recorder, like OBS, what I was using wasn't working very well and i i have fixed the volume problem so it is now recording sound for this episode oh that's good um i think i fixed the video recording problem in the next episode or at least the episode after that i don't i don't remember <laughs> so join us next time for possibly <laughs> a better video <laughs> <laughs> That's par for the course for us. Yeah. I this um, sucks. Try next week. <laughs> <laughs> this ship was supposed to go to Minmus, uh, but it is going to just stay in orbit of Kerbin. That's fine. Since the original Ares 1 craft is the one that got damaged and had to be landed. It was Bill's craft. Right. This one is commanded by Gwynford. Gwynford. Yes. It's probably an improvement over Loggerberry or whatever that that guy's name was. Yeah, well. Yeah, the drunk one. <laughs> <laughs> who, who's, who went to Minmus? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to deal with them here in a little bit. <laughs> yeah. They're Make still in orbit of Minmus with... Bill's currently on the surface. I, I really need to send out a... I, I, an aircraft to go get them. Yeah, it'd be fine. So right now I'm in a really bad orbit because I forgot how the craft launched. So I'm like, my apoapsis is 670 kilometers, but my periapsis <laughs> is 60. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to decay. Uh, here I'm just raising, I'm raising it to 200. Yeah. And I'm going to go back to periapsis and just burn retrograde and just circularize it in a nice 200 kilometer orbit. 200 is that's, you know, that's okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm eventually, this is going to be rendezvousing with some stuff because I'm going to put them right to work. All like, right. I think not in this episode though. <laughs> By right to work, I mean in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're ready to work. Oh, they look ready. They, they, they are rolling down his chin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Extend the solar panels there, Inburn. Yeah. Here they are. <laughs> and there it is, Ares 3. Lieutenant Slackjaw, report. Gah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing now. I've already shown this shot. That's eh, fine. When I when I started nice recording this episode, I had planned on this being like the title. Mm -hmm. And that that ended up not being what happened because of events that <laughs> mitigating circumstances. Yeah. So here I'm crossfading to the Space Bus 2. All right. Uh, I had planned on this going straight to Minmus. Mm -hmm. um, I'm <laughs> renaming it. I have my caps lock on. Space Bus 2. I, I figured out after this video you can like change the uh, the priority of naming so things keep their name. Oh, cool. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty handy. But I don't have enough liquid fuel on this to get to Minmus. So what I need to do is go to Enterprise Station in orbit of Kerbin and fill up its gas tanks. So I'm just using the rendezvous planner and Kerbal alarm clock to get me there as quickly as possible. I want to. I'm trying to waste as little time. You in... suppose? You suppose if we start mining gasoline from the moon, it'll lower gas prices? No, I don't think so either. No, it just it just seems like the kind of question that you should ask out loud, so that. A much like stupider person won't ask it out loud later. That would be it. a bad business decision for Elon Musk, considering he like would be the person doing the mining and also running an electric car company. <laughs> <laughs> it just it know. just seems like not the thing that he would do. I feel like I don't know, like gas from the moon, like. Like, I feel like anybody who would buy it would not want to burn it. <laughs> you know? I, I, if we could get gas from the moon, people would burn it like hell. Well, probably. I mean, they're not going to hold it sentimental. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be fairly, like, let, let's be clear. Oil is, like, you know, liquefied, ancient like creatures and yeah. we're nowhere near sentimental about that even though you know it sounds like we would be i mean you know i i don't like remember the first gallon of gas i bought you know oh, although right. i mean back in the day people used to save like oil cans as collectible things but you know i don't i don't i think that pretty much stopped with you know plastic oil bottles yeah but now you know, we just throw them in the pacific ocean pretty much yeah so here I'm coming up on Enterprise Station, of course, in the dark. Yeah. I I will make a promise to everybody in <laughs> by episode 19, I will have realized that I can change the contrast so you can actually kind of see what I'm doing in the dark. Oh, cool. Yeah, but not this episode and not the next episode. <laughs> I was going to say episode could, after that. You could you could probably put lights on your uh, ships, too. Yeah, th that would be something cool that I forgot. But hey, but I'm in the sunlight now, so now we can <laughs> see. And I'm just going to try and get the docking over. I'm not. I'm trying to conserve my RCS because the biggest flaw with this space bus is it only holds 200 units of RCS. Mm. And short range bus. Well. If you take out the fuel tank, you could hold more passengers. Anyway, <laughs> its biggest flaw is it runs really close to no RCS. I think at one point I docked one of these to a uh -huh. space station, and it only had 1.32 units of RCS left. Nice. So I have to be very, very careful. What if, when... you, built, what if you just built like an RCS tank with a large docking port on either side? I there's one like right there connected to the station. Yeah. I'm just saying like make a bunch of those and then just, you know, the I bus, the bus just takes one when it has to go somewhere. Well, technically it can take a fuel tank. I'm going to make a special liquid only fuel tank to because I want to send a space bus to Duna. 
And here you can see I've just docked with Enterprise Station. Very nice. So there's Space Bus 2 with the crew module for the Minmus Station is what I just docked. On the other side is the tanker craft. And here I'm just realizing that, wow, that I thought there was more fuel in that tank. <laughs> Whoops. But it's okay. There's two tanks here. Whoops. <laughs> I'm 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 fairly certain, you know, there's more fuel in that other tank. I'm just trying to make sure I'm clicking on the right tanks. <laughs> just just making sure I arrange all my tanks. So I'm transferring the fuel out of that tank, only the liquid fuel, because it uses nuclear engines that only use liquid fuel. Right. And it holds 1,200 units, but I was way, way low. And it's not going to fill it up. No, it's not. But I have the other tank. So we should be good once I get that filled. And then I can send this to Minmus to attach that crew module to the bottom of the Minmus station, which I remember to name Challenger in a little <laughs> bit. Oh. It's a bad omen. Oh, shit. There, there's no fuel in there. What there's about... No there. Okay, there's no uh, ore uh, in the tanker. Uh, 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 Is there uh, fuel in... No, I... Okay. Oh, uh, oh, 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 there's some. Well, that... I have to keep that in there because I need to send the tanker back to the moon. Well, that's true. To get another load of fuel. Maybe it's time for a fuel trip. Uh, I am going to need to have the big mining craft in the, on the moon do a mining run, and then I think what I need to do next episode is get all the sh all the ships I can to the moon base. To take a big load of fuel. And just one big wobbly chain. Well, no, I think... I mean, I could. That would be a bad idea. I okay. have, I, I do okay. have two empty fuel tanks in orbit of Kerbin right now. I think next episode I'm going to send those to the moon. And use the big mining ship on the surface of the moon to just... Fill it up so I can fill up all the space stations. Good plan. Because I I want to be done with this. I'm ready to be done with this. I'm ready to have the Midmus station fully operational, which it is not. <laughs> that was supposed to be done. Uh, it was supposed to be fully operational by episode 16. This is episode 17. And I'm nowhere near here. Well, here is the Minmus station. Right. It has only the ore tank there. Its big mining ship is in orbit. The space utility vehicle that's supposed to be in use for Minmus is there, but it is damaged. Of course. I'm just checking to make sure everything is named correctly. And I'm going to undock this because what I really need to do is this ship is damaged. I want to send it back to Kerbin and I want to unload Billy Bob Long and Tedbury. They've been waiting for years. <laughs> no, they've only been on there for about 17 days. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, actually, probably a little less than 17 days. That's not so bad. And here I'm going to actually rename the station. Challenger Station. Challenger Station. Oh, yeah. And I like to put in parentheses, like, where it is. Where so, it is. when I'm looking at the tracking station, like, where's this space station? There it is. 
That was or, always the thing in Star Trek, where I mean, it's convenient for plot purposes to be like, "Oh, Starbase three twenty four. Yeah, but like who the hell remembers where? You know, everybody. Like, I just think Riker would always pretend. Oh yeah, Starbase three twenty four. Yeah, I, I lost a bet there. You know, <laughs> it's like like you remember you remember Craig Ferguson's late night show. Yeah. Whenever uh, you know, in the last couple of years, whenever they would answer like an email or a tweet, like, "Oh, this is from so and so in." you know, name of city, and they do the same gag every time. Oh, you ever been to wherever it is? Yeah, I got a place there. Oh, you should come out sometime. Oh, yeah. And they got to the point where they would just shout it all at each other really fast. Because <laughs> <laughs> they would just say exactly the same thing every time. <laughs> like, that's what Riker and Picard do whenever they mention a Starbase. Yeah. Data hasn't figured it out yet. So I'm just burning to get a fairly Kerbin, close, yeah. fairly close periapsis to Kerbin. I'm gonna park this in a 400 kilometer orbit. That sounds good. And eventually, what I'll do is I'll send. It, it sounds it's, it's going to sound a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. I'm going to send the space bus. To rendezvous with this ship and then the SS put Billy Bob Long and Ted Burry on the space bus and then send the space bus to an SSTO that will right. then land them back on Kerbin. Okay. And through the miracle of time, we are now back at Kerbin. <laughs> the miracle of time. Yes. <laughs> And I just need to burn at periapsis to lower my apoapsis. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to get there. Oh, yeah. I have, I am noticing that my. Your orbit's a little cockeyed, yeah. Well, yeah, that. And also, I'm looking at my satellites. Those should be like all three. Like really separated out, like mm -hmm. they're not doing a very good job of relaying. No, maybe you need like twelve more of them. Well, if they're if I do a better job at getting their orbits right, then mm -hmm. I only need three. All oh, right. I I thought I'd done a better job, but I guess after like a year, <laughs> two of them are, or at least one of them is very out of place. And, you know, tidal forces and uh, things that don't exist in this game. Yeah. I Friction need to... and cosmic mic microwave magnetic solar winds. Yeah, and, you know, space lasers and... Yeah, yeah, land sharks. Jackalobes. Yep. <laughs> Liberals. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> So this is this is a fairly substantial burn, but I really don't care because I'm I'm very much done with these guys. Yeah, I mean they could they could you know you could try litho breaking. I I am basically going to land this craft <laughs> back on Kerbin and recover it so I can repair it and relaunch it. Different crew with a different crew. Definitely a different crew. In fact, I may put Bob. Or is it Bob or Bill? I don't remember. Didn't you say Bill was on, on Minmus? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I, I don't know where people are. I, You know what? <laughs> I do have the, like, this. I wrote it down. Like, I'm all organized and shit. Oh, man. Uh, who is the crew? It's Bill because Bob is the commander of Columbia oh, Station. Gotcha, so, Bill. So I'm going to put Bill, Billy, Bob Long, and <laughs> and Bob, and I, and Bobby, Bobby, Bill Short, Ted Berry. That's who <laughs> it is. Berry. Oh, Ted Berry, right? Yeah, in command of this is SUV two space utility vehicle, right? And send them to Minmus. Really, what I want to do is, I think Bill should be the commander of the Duna Station. 
That seems reasonable. I mean, like not just the Duna station. He should be in command of all of Duna. <laughs> he, he should be he, the king of Duna. <laughs> the viceroy. <laughs> <laughs> Viceroy Bill. Yes. So eventually here in a couple episodes, once I get my Duna mission started, I I think I should send Bill. And why why the hell not send Billy Bob Long and Ted Berry too? I think so. Yeah, they should just go and the, the Duna Triumvirate right there. Yeah. I'm I'm writing damaged. <laughs> so I know. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to let this sit in orbit, and I think the plan is for next episode to go recover my two passengers. As you can see, Billy Bob Long and Ted Burry right there waiting in that little passenger compartment. Super professional, as always. Yes, of course. They 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 may be a bit traumatized. I mean, their their spacecraft did get rammed. <laughs> it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a Vietnam stare, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've seen some stuff. <laughs> they've seen some things. <laughs> yeah, I I think so. I'm going to put a surface base on Duna. I'm going to have a space station in orbit of Duna, and a space station in orbit of Ike and. Yeah. So I think those three have earned that. And Ike is the one with the gravity so we you can basically run off of it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So join us next week as we solve our mining problems and Forever. get those three home. Good night. Absolutely. Good night, everybody.